We're building the swarm robotic mining architectures to allow us to extract metals and materials from Earth, but in a completely new and different way. So instead of moving millions of tons of waste rock using diesel and other hydrocarbon drill and blast based methods, we can just laparoscopically mine and surgically bring out just the pure ingots of metal. This is where we're going with Offworld with our swarm robotic mining architecture. When there is an operation where you want to take humans out of harm's way, where you want real-time information, and where you want to be able to map areas that are incredibly stream and hard to operate, that is where Surveyor will shine for the operation. Surveyor is built upon the latest autonomous navigation technology. It's optimized to navigate in extreme, unstructured environments. It can go into terrains that no other vehicle can go or humans can go. From minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius, sand, rocks, high slopes, large rocks, it can handle it all. The symmetrical design allows the robot to flip over even if you overdrive the system into very difficult terrain conditions. The surveyor can host a multitude of sensors, a ground penetrating radar, a core drill to take sample from the ground, a spectrometer to analyze the composition of the ground. So we're very excited about how we can improve mining today and where we can take this into construction and other sectors tomorrow. This focus on the mining application and on the interaction with the matter makes us believe that we have accelerated all of the technology early on for the most difficult functions. Achieving many things with swarm robotic mining. The first is taking humans out of harm's way. The second is very little infrastructure to start your mine. So actually you can tap into tier two and tier three mines that wouldn't be profitable if you use conventional methods. And third, we are uh, deploying systems that are highly interoperable and highly coordinated, so the operation can run seamlessly without human intervention. As we're building our swarm robotic mining architecture, employing all of the great species of robots to undertake exploration, excavation, material handling, processing, we can apply the same techniques, much like tools from a DIY store, to different sectors like construction, infrastructure repair, this allows us to then build and learn how to undertake these builds robotically here on Earth. And then we'll deploy hundreds, if not thousands of robots out into space, into the solar system, and start building settlements and civilization and eventually to the stars.